Hello everyone, welcome to back my channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before starting the video, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Pedro Gimeno from the family Chantel has insulted Chantel Everett and her family on the show several times, but these 10 instances are the worst. Pedro from the Dominican Republic met Chantel through a mutual friend when Chantel was looking for a Spanish tutor. Pedro used to work as a language tutor back then. Chantel had gone to meet him and fallen in love with Pedro. He proposed to Chantel on her third trip to the DR, but Chantel lied to her parents and never told them she was engaged. Chantel was at fault for her family's disapproval of Pedro because she had lied about why Pedro was in the U.S. after his K-1 visa was approved. Chantel and Pedro said that he was in America on a student visa. Ever since then, Chantel's parents were convinced he was trouble. Chantel's parents accused Pero of marrying their daughter to get a green card. Meanwhile, Pedro and his family treated Chantel badly. Pedro did nothing to change their opinion. Pedro stayed married to Chantel for almost seven years. Pedro only broke up with Chantel once he became a U.S. citizen. Getting a green card could have been difficult for Pedro if he had broken up earlier. As years passed, and he had to fake his love for Chantel, he became more and more irritable towards her. He started acting like he was single until he filed for divorce in May 2022. Karema and Nicol Gimino were childhood friends. They grew up together in the Dominican Republic and Karema developed a huge crush on her friend's older brother. Karema created a major scandal in the lives of Pedro and Chantel during Happily Ever After, Season 4. Chantel was in Atlanta at the time and Pedro had returned to his native country for some time. He went out with his friends and took some 10 shots of alcohol. Pedro took off his wedding ring and put it at the bottom of a drink. Pedro got quite cozy with Karema on the dance floor. Pedro told the cameras that he was messed up, but Karema didn't mind that he was a married man. She declared she was interested in him. Karema didn't have much hope for Pedro and Chantel's relationship. She had somehow predicted their breakup years ago. When Chantel saw the video, she thought it was some random woman Pedro was dancing with. Chantel realized Karema was a friend of Nichols who wanted to date Pedro when Nichols showed Chantel the full video. Chantel wanted to get rid of everything she had shared with Pedro in her past, and it included their house. Chantel approached a realtor about selling the house where she lived with Pedro and came face to face with her ex nine months after their split. Chantel had organized a yard sale to get rid of the stuff in the house. She got to keep everything after their divorce and didn't want to do anything with Pedro's belongings. Pedro had left behind some of his prized possessions, including his gardening tools and his gaming chair. Pedro used to spend more time at his gaming station than with Chantel. He was always playing video games with his headphones on, pretending not to hear Chantel. When he did start having an active social life, he didn't include Chantel. Pedro's stupid a asterisk asterisk chair went to the highest bidder. Karen Everett sold it for one dollar. When Pedro returned to the house and found out his beloved chair was missing, he became very upset. He let Chantel know he wasn't happy that she had sold it. Pedro was never this passionate about saving his own marriage. Chantel and Pedro were fighting all the time in the family Chantel season 4, as they inched closer to their separation. Chantel was not happy with Pedro working more nights than usual, and noticed these nights were getting more frequent and later and later. He told Chantel it was none of her business. However, Pedro was rude and entitled. When Pedro returned, he saw that Chantel had the day off, but still hadn't done the cleaning, the grocery shopping, or the laundry, despite promising him. Chantel told Pedro she was tired. Pedro pointed out Chantel worked three days and still wasn't making herself useful at home in her downtime. He didn't care that Chantel was working 12 hours a day back to back for three days. When she tried to rest on her fourth day, Pedro would nag her and call her lazy. 
Pedro was acting like he was the only one who worked, and that no one worked as hard as him. Pedro thought Chantel used to work much harder before, since they were grinding together, but grew apart when she stopped. I'm sick of your lazy a uh, asterisk asterisk too, he told her. Pedro and his boss Laura had grown quite close during this rough period of his marriage to Chantel. Pedro was even accused of cheating on Chantel with his boss. In August 2022, Pedro was spotted vacationing with Laura.